Nito losing to uh, Nito losing to catch up on winners actually. But these guys are losing, uh, meeting each other in losers finals, so it's gonna be interesting. Quick 25% already, nearly 26. And this is gonna be an interesting matchup. Nito has been having a pretty much a very hard time against uh, Palutena's in general. <laughs> Losing to uh, he lost to a few Palutena's. He lost to uh, Chase, and I know he lost to a, a few others pretty recently. But now all this damage coming in from Jump Steady, okay, these Nairs just kind of catching him from out of nowhere. In fact, that one, uh, that Nair trading with the sure you can up there. Oh, that's it. No, it's not. He got him with the medium sure you can too. But it didn't kill. Good DI coming in for Jump City. <sighs> oh, he got the dare, but he messed up on the input for the Shuriken. But that uh, moon kick will uh, catch Jump City walking in. Up tilt, that's going to catch. Uh, jumps to, uh, Nito, and he catches him with an up air as well. Good stuff coming in from Jump Steady. There, there, another one. Falling out of that one, though. Nice parry. And then he nared through the Hadouken as well. Bears coming in, getting with the down throw into the fair. Man, but. Quick, quick 24% coming in from uh, Nito. That simple bread and butter, double down tilt to Mooncake. <laughs> oh, get him with the down throw into the up smash. Stuck on that platform, you can't really roll away. Down throw? No, he went for the forward throw. Back throw. In a weird situation. Jump City going for a hard read, going for that, fo that forward smash. Not going to connect. Oh, but that explosive flame will. Jump City with a commanding lead now. Oh, he got the he got the crescent kick into the dare, but Jump City wasn't off stage and he didn't uh, fall off for that one. <sighs> Nair's coming in a lot of pressure. That sure you can. That's going to take it out. That might have been a little bit of weak di, di but it probably didn't matter. Jump Steady getting more damage with that Nair. Stuck? No, he's not. Couldn't really finish off that. He fell out of the Nair. Ooh, Crescent Kick to Moon Kick. A lot of damage coming in from Nito, bringing it right back to even. Explosive flame not going to connect. Going in for the parry on the auto radical. But Nito's stuck in the corner and Jump City was on point with this ledge pressure. It got him with the forward smash. Expecting the roll in, but he got the neutral get up to roll in. <laughs> Whatever takes the stock, bro. Whatever takes the stock. Panic option coming in from Nito. All right, now we are on game two. No stage counter pick whatsoever. We're just gonna stay on PS2. Uh, and just getting with these Tatsu loops, going for a quick 49%. And now Jump Steady getting a bit of damage on his own. All these nares. No forward tilt gonna connect right there. Nair into bear. Nito having a oh that dare gonna connect. Jump steady, jumping right back into it, dying at 93%. Relatively early. Getting him with the down throw to bear, 
But good stuff coming in from uh, Nito um, to uh, focus it. Explosive flame coming in. No, he's not going to connect him with uh, up air. That explosive flame not going to catch landing either. Smart move coming in from Dumpsteady. If he went for the barrier, it would have got focused. Very even game so far. Yeah, Nito taking out that stock. Well, actually, was, I think that was an SD. I looked away for a little bit. Going in for the Crescent Kick, missing on the dash attack though, but that Nair, not gonna kill him just yet. Nito has a lot of uh, leeway on this lead right now. Oh, missed on the sweet spot there, but jump steady jumping out, but he lost his jump. He didn't realize that that jump saved him from getting hit by the sweet spot there. And now we are 1-1. One, one. All right, now game number three. Gonna come underway. Both players gonna get their characters locked and loaded. And we're still on PS2. Might be one of those days, people, where we just play PS2 for the whole tournament. <laughs> oh, went for a hard down smash, but no punish coming in from Jump Steady. Up air into Shoryu. It's damage. Oh, wow. That forward tilt into the double nair just racking up a lot of damage. Both players trading these uh, projectiles, and now we're back into true neutral. And Neo kind of messing, uh, flubbing a little bit on his conversions. And Jump Steady kind of zoning him out with this Nair pressure. Nito can't really find his way in, but he found it right there. Up tilt the short, uh, the Moon Kick, not gonna kill. Good DI coming in from Jump Steady. Oh, there's the Moon Kick right there. That's gonna be the stock. Down tilt the Moon Kick. Gonna be an easy conversion for uh, Nito. He's only at 52%. Oh, that was a really hard commitment. Jump said he's going to punish him. Oh, that Nair. Trading with the Shoryuken and just Nito falling like a rock right after. Teleporting right back to the ledge. Unsafe, that Shoryuken. Going to kill. Pretty early, too. Ooh, got him with the proximity jab, but he didn't follow it up with anything. Oh, there's a proximity jab yet again, and there's the short Yukon. Is that it? No, uh, Jump said he's going to DI that one correctly this time. Down throw into Nair, getting him off stage. Oh, couldn't get the fair. He's in the corner, though. Oh, and went for the Ross, the short Yukons on that one to take out the stock, and Nito now up 2-1 against Jep Steady. <laughs> mm. After losing those two games on Palutena, Jumpsteady is opting to go for his ZSS now. Hopefully this ace will work out for in his favor. Oh, getting with the prox jab into Shoryuken. Just getting quick damage, roll in, very unsafe. And Jumpsteady punishing it pretty well. 
Tatsu loops. No, I'm not gonna really, not gonna get too much out of it. Oh, quick damage, crescent kick to uh, moon kick. All this pressure yet again. Moon kicking him away. Oh, that nearly killed. If I don't know what hitbox that was, but it was nearly the right one. Oh, and there we go. That's gonna be the shuriken after the after the dare. Ooh. The paralyzer, but good DI coming in from Nito. Going way off stage. Ooh, Nair. Bringing up a little bit more. Ooh, that was an, a bare opportunity, but kind of a bit of hesitation. But man, Jump Steady has been on point on catching these roll getups from all of his opponents with that down smash. They're a little unsafe on the shield, but working out for him. We're at a pretty even game right now. The medium down tilt. Oh, that up tilt, catching that roll behind. Pretty even right now, still. I'm steady trying to find his way to juggle uh, Ken in the air. Ooh, missed out on that in there. But Jump said he's still in the driver's seat. Getting him with the forward throw, hoping he roll in. No, he's not gonna do it. Oh, and there's a Shoryuken on the shield. Only got one hit though. If he got another one, that would've definitely broke the shield. I wonder if it hits the shield multiple times. I think it can. Ooh, there's a heavy up tilt. Oh, went for the Shoryuken instead of the Moon Kick. The typical Shield Break setup. Going for the Fireball. Get up attack, coming in from Jump Steady. Oh, went for that, uh, went for that side B off stage. Jump Steady's been going for that for quite a bit, but he hasn't landed it yet. That up smash though, gonna take it though. Uh, <laughs> that's it though, twice. Still going. Pretty even game so far. Jab's coming in from Jump Steady. He's found all the, the correct pressure and that Shoryuken nearly killing. But, oh that Shoryuken will definitely take it out. Nice tech roll in. Jump Steady. Not gonna go for any option after the back throw. Tatsu off stage. What is he gonna do? No, he's not gonna go for the kick. Ooh, ooh. Getting a nice conversion off that dare. Ooh, hoping he'd roll in. Oh, very risky option. Yo, is that it? He got them with the. Reverse, he got him with the mix-up on the DI and killed him at 59%. Hit him with the reverse um, Shoryuken. Nito one showing the early kill power of Ken. Susia. Susia.